the real-time real estate segment today being brought to you by rsrmoney.com, rsrmoney.com. Let me see if I can find our story for you because someone, me, didn't get it into the folder in time. So I'm going to grab it right here. Again, rsrmoney.com. You can find out different values of your property. That's the whole focus from our friends over at rsrmoney.com. They're going to give you four different uh, sources or valuations of your property. And three of them are good. One is Zillow. So go there, rsrmoney.com. Is it getting more affordable to buy a home is our question over the last year or so. A lot of people are talking about how tough it is to buy a home. And while there's no arguing, affordability is still tight. There are signs it's starting to get a bit better and may improve even more throughout the year. Elijah De La Campa, senior economist at Redfin, says, quote, We're slowly climbing our way out of an affordability hole, but we have a long way to go. Rates have come down from their peak and are expected to fall again by the end of the year, which should make home buying a little more affordable and incentivize buyers to come off the sidelines. Here's a look at the latest data for the three biggest factors that affect home affordability. Mortgage rates, home prices, and wages. Number one, mortgage rates have been volatile this year, bouncing around in the upper six, low seven range. That's still quite a bit higher than where they were a couple years ago. But there is a sliver of good news. Despite the recent volatility, rates are still lower than they were last fall when they reached nearly 8%. On top of that, most experts still think they'll come down some over the course of the year. A recent article from Bright MLS explains, quote, expect rates to come down in the second half of 2024, but remain above 6% this year. Even a modest drop in rates will bring both more buyers and more sellers into the market, unquote. Any drop in rates can make a difference for you. When rates go down, you can afford the home you really want more easily because your monthly payment would be lower. Number two is home prices. Second big factor to think about is home prices. Most experts project they'll keep going up this year, but at a more normal pace. That's because there are more homes on the market this year, but still not enough for everyone who wants to buy one. If you're watching us on ronsegalradio.tv, any of our socials, or the ABC News and Talk AM 1490 video feed, you're seeing a graph that shows the latest 2024 home price forecasts from seven different organizations. These forecasts are actually good news for you because it means the prices are not likely to shoot up sky high like they did during the pandemic. That doesn't mean they're going to fall. They'll just rise at a more normalized pace. The average of all seven is 3.2%. Goldman Sachs says 5%. Mortgage Bankers Association says 4.1%. Zillow, 3.5%. Fannie Mae, 3.2%. Freddie Mac, 2.5%. The Home Price Expectation Survey. 2.4, and the National Association of Realtors, 1.4. Number three in that list of affordability is wages. One factor helping affordability right now is the fact that wages are rising. Another graph from the Federal Reserve to show how wages have been growing over time, and they are going above the index of the trend line. That's good news. Again, if you watch, if you're looking at the chart, it shows how wages typically rise. If you look at the right side of the graph, You'll see wages are climbing even faster than normal right now. Here's how this helps you. If, you. if your income is increased, it's easier to afford a home because you don't have to spend as big of a percentage of your paycheck on your monthly mortgage payment. The bottom line, if you stack these up, you'll see mortgage rates are still projected to come down a bit later this year. Home prices are going up at a more moderate pace and wages are growing quicker than normal. Those trends are a good sign for your affordability to buy a home. That is the real-time real estate segment brought to you by rsrmoney.com, rsrmoney.com.